Okay, here's an introduction to getting started with uh, CoCalc or Sage. So first go to some web search engine like Google and type in CoCalc and that will lead you to cocalc.com as the first result. And you don't need to sign up, although if you want to save your work, you probably eventually will. But let's just click this here, run cocalc now. And after a few seconds, we'll get this. Um, you can click Sage Math 9, that's what we want to, uh, that's what I want to explain. But I'm going to do something over here and, and instead go to new and type in the name of a file you want to create. It automatically fills in the date and maybe the time or something. But let's just say um, file one and let's click here Sage Worksheet. That's the most important thing. Okay, and now we can ready to start. So we press 2 plus 2 or type in 2 plus 2 and then hit run and you'll see here it's uh, working on computing that. Um, the first time you do something it tends to take a little bit of while establishing you know some connection to its server and so forth. So <laughs> it's taking quite a while to give 4 plus uh, to, to give 4 but after the first time, it tends to speed up. Okay, that took quite a while, so let's try 2 plus 5. And you can either hit run or a shortcut is press shift enter. So that's right. And there you see now we have 7, and that came back much quicker. Okay, now let's uh, turn to matrices. So the way to make a matrix, well, let's give it a name A, our matrix, and just type in matrix. And uh, let's create a 2 by 2 matrix, so write 2 comma 2. And then type in a list of the rows of your matrix. So let's say our first row is 1, 2. And then just continue to the next row. So suppose the next row is going to be 5, 7. And end with the um, square bracket. And then let's hit shift enter. Okay, so nothing happened, but what we've done is define this matrix A to be a 2 by 2 matrix with these entries. Now, if you want to see what A is, type A and press shift enter, and there, there's our uh, 2 by 2 matrix with rows, the first row being 1, 2, and the second row being 5, 7. We've uh, learned to take inverses of matrix, so let's see how to do that. So you type A, so A is the object, and then if you press dot, that object has a whole slew of methods attached to it. This might be a familiar term from computer programming. And then if you hit tab, you can see all the methods that are available to an object that's a matrix. And I was trying to explain uh, inverse, so let's try to find inverse. So you can click here, uh, inverse. So this is a way in that in case you don't know the exact command, you can try to guess it or search for it, I should say, by typing in a dot, hitting tab, and then seeing what options pop up. Now we then want to close this empty parenthesis uh, with that some empty parentheses, hit shift enter, and there it gives us the matrix. Uh, let's give it a name, assign a name to that matrix, let's call it B. And so I'm going to let b equals a dot inverse, and then hit shift enter. Let's type in and see what b is. b is this matrix. Let's check that this is the inverse by doing a times b. Shift enter, and that indeed is the identity matrix. And then the other operation, oops, b times a. That's also the identity matrix. So indeed, this matrix b we found is the uh, inverse of the matrix A. Um, we can also find a determinant. So A dot, and then type in determinant, or uh, hit the um, tab button, and 
find out determinant, we do need to put these empty parentheses after it, and it tells us the determinant of a is minus 3. Um, going back to what a was, and recalling that the determinant is 1 times 7 minus the off diagonal elements 2 times 5, that's 7 minus 10, and that's indeed negative 3. Great. Then another thing we learned is uh, row reduction. So a dot hit a tab, and let's try to see row, row, uh, see what has it for row. Well, this is a reduced row echelon form. That's the abbreviation. And hitting that, well, we get the identity matrix. So this is not surprising since A is an invertible matrix. It will have the identity matrix as its reduced row echelon form. Now, what else have we learned? Um, well, how to multiply, well, we've seen how to multiply two matrices. Um, let's talk about multiplying uh, matrix with the vector. So let V, to, first of all, to create a vector, you can either type in this vector notation. So actually, let me make a slight error here. And so when you make an error, Sage tends to give a very uh, long and confusing uh, error message. But the trick is to look at the very last line and ignore all this other stuff at the beginning. And it says here, vector takes at least one positional argument and zero were given. Now that might be a little hard to understand what that even means, but basically it says we haven't really given anything as part of our vector. So the vector we want to give is, well, say um, one comma two. Hit enter, shift enter, I should say. And uh, okay, so let's see what V is. And okay, so V is this vector one comma two. And um, Sage, you know, or CoCalc, displays it as a row vector, but it can be treated as a column vector. Um, as, in other words, a two by one matrix. So in other words, we can compute A times V, the matrix multiplication, and that gives five comma 19. And if you do the matrix multiplication of A, so again, A is this, and uh, do the matrix multiplication of one comma two, sorry, a is this matrix, multiply on the left, ah, multiply A and V as such, A is on the left, V is on the right, and you'll get 519. We would normally, I would write this as 519 uh, as a two by one column vector. Let's um, see that a little differently. So let's create a two by one matrix. That's, okay, two rows, one column, and uh, one, two. So that's this matrix here. So essentially it's the same thing as V, but here I want to treat that as a column vector. And then let's check A times W. And yes, you will get the two by one column vector. That's five times 19, or five over 19. Um, okay, great. Then, okay, these examples all involve numbers. Uh, one thing you can do with Sage is to um, introduce variables and other fields. In fact, let's introduce some variables. So the notation for that is var, and then the variables I want are a, b, c, d. I could use x, y, z and so forth, but okay, let's just that do that. And this just says, okay, now a, b, c, d, Sage has uh, realized that we're gonna call those our variables. And let's create a matrix with those as our variables. So let's C equal matrix. Now, um, let's go with two by two, and then A, B, C, D. This might give an error. No, it does not. Okay, fine. Um, and then C is our, um, this matrix here, A, B, C, D, and let's, so another thing that we sometimes, it's, it's good practice to do when using this matrix notation is to specify the ring. Now that's, when you're talking about variables, you want to use what's called SR, the symbolic ring. And this might be getting a little too 
uh, necessarily technical than what I should do in an introductory video, but okay, anyway, that's the same same thing. All right, so let's take the determinant to find the determinants. So C dot determinant. Now let me do, again purposely make an error. I've misspelled determine, and then it gives me an error, and then go again go to the very last line, and it says uh, has no this object has no attribute determine. So obviously, I misspelled it purposely. So again, let me go back up here and correctly spell it determinant. Hit shift enter, and then we indeed see it's the usual determinant of a two by two matrix AD minus BC. Okay, that's an introduction to um, using matrix uh, in Sage or CoCalc. CoCalc can run a bunch of uh, different kernels or programming languages, including Python. So the one that we're using here is Sage. Um, actually, let me just do one more mat uh, matrix. Let's call it D and matrix. And instead of a square matrix, let's try a um, two by three matrix. Now, it's good practice to specify the, the, the ring that you're working on, sorry, um, the field that you're working in. In other words, what kind of numbers are you going to allow? And usually, if you don't include this, uh, Sage will try to guess, and it's pretty good at that. But QQ stands for the rational numbers of fractions which includes the integers. And so let's make a two by three matrix just for something different. So it's gonna have two rows and three columns, uh, but so we're gonna to need to give in, give in six numbers and let's just, yeah, give in six numbers, one, two, seven, eight, nine, minus one half. And um, Sage will automatically split it up into two rows and three columns as we'll see. Okay, so let's hit shift enter. All right, so there's two rows and three columns. One, two, seven is the first row, and then eight, nine minus one half is the second row. And uh, let's try d dot determinant. This should give me an error because uh, d is not a square matrix, so it doesn't have a determinant. And that's what the last line here says. This is a non-square matrix. It doesn't have a determinant. Um, okay. So yeah, anyway, that, let me stop here.